Good evening. I am Walter Sam Cronkite here with Jab News reporting live from our studio in Rome. An incident has occurred today, has occurred today at the Capitol on this Ides of March. So far, it is only clear that Caesar, Mark Antony, and Brutus were involved. Rumors report that Caesar has been killed by conspirators led by his own beloved Mark Antony. Hungry for power but fearing repercussions, Antony has fled the scene. Caesar was supposedly stabbed 36 times by the rebels, but the newest reports indicate that Caesar has only been stabbed 30 times. Also, the report says that Mark Antony was not involved and fled the scene in fear of his life. Again, it is unclear how all of this may have transpired, but our reporters there are there on the scene digging up information. Other sources report that Caesar is dead, but again, it has not been confirmed. Assuming Mark Antony's innocence, many await his assumed rise to power to fill the gap left by Caesar. And right now, the latest reports say that Brutus, Cassius, and Metellus have come forth with blood on their hands. The crowds are rioting in fear, and all are demanding answers. Brutus has addressed the crowd, and it is only clear that he and the conspirators did truly stab Caesar a supposed total of 33 times. They did so to prevent, a rule, his, to prevent his rule of tyranny. And now, witnesses are reporting that Mark Antony has come forth, carrying the body of Caesar from the Senate on the sides of March the official report has come out. Caesar is dead. Mark Antony now goes to speak where the plebeians assume he will take over and fill Caesar's role in the Senate. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Galatea here from Jab News, slicing through the lies and getting to the point, reporting live from my studio in Rome. Caesar has been dead for a few days now, and the conspirators have fled the city. Brutus and Cassius have assembled forces and plan on fighting for their noble cause. Mark Anthony, Octavian, and Lepidus have formed a triumvirate to meet their forces, most likely at Philippi. The triumvirate has performed a purge in the Senate and killed around 60 senators, all supposedly involved in the conspiracy. We now await for the imminent clash of arms. I'm Quintus with Jab News, slicing through the lies and getting to the point. We are here on the scene in Philippi as two armies clash to determine the fate of Rome. The rebel cause, led by Brutus, Messala, Lucius, and Cassius, fight to defend their honor after killing Caesar. The opposing side, led by Mark Antony and Octavius, fight to avenge Caesar's death. They have just finished a session of parley. With both sides unwilling to negotiate, we wait for the imminent clash of arms. Till now, back to the weather with Metella. It's Metella, reporting live from our studio in Rome. The forecast for today is there is a volcanic eruption in Pompeii, earthquake in Herculaneum, thunderstorms in Naples, a typhoon way down here in Sicily, a plague in Milan, a large fire is hitting Venice, and a slight chance of rain in Philippi. Now, back to the battle. Here we are back at Philippi, and the battle is about to begin. Ha! Ah! Absolutely riveting. The fighting, so intense. Many casualties already. Let's go interview a soldier. Mm. Talk about you for a quick moment. Right. How's it going out there? It's going great. We got like great communication. I think we're really gonna pull through. Do you have a chance? I believe we do. Like, if we just keep working together, we're gonna do really well. Well, it seems to be about it here from Philippi. We've got... <coughs> this is Quintus, signing off from... Oh! <laughs> Events, I'm now your news reporter. A rattlesnake once bit him. After five days of excruciating pain, the snake finally died. His feet don't get blisters. His sandals do. He once won a staring contest against his own statue. He is Julius Caesar. I don't always eat chips, but when I do, I prefer Tostitos. Stay hungry, my friends. Yeah. Caesar salad dressing. Goes great on anything. So good, it's to die for. Ha!
Hi, I'm Brutus here with a 33 pack of fake snowballs, one for each of Caesar's wounds. They're great for indoor and outdoor use, and they build family relations, even if your wife is stabbing herself. But the kids will love it! Long live Poopy! No! <laughs> And now back to regularly scheduled programming. In the end of the battle, let's go check in on Cassius. We can't win. Oh. Okay, let's just check in on Tidious then. <laughs> Cassius! <laughs> no! <laughs> What's the point? Well, let's go check in on Brutus. Mark Anthony and Caesar's death is avenged. That's the end of the battle.